Yeah, well, Tanya, this house has been home to heads of industry in northern Kentucky. It's in disrepair. That motel on the back was added later. City leaders say it was a hotbed for crime. The deadline to sell passed today. Now this motel is closed for good. It was a house built for industry kings. Honestly, I'd probably call it a trap house or whorehouse. Almost unrecognizable now, it's falling apart. A motel addition out back sits empty. Welcome relief for neighbors like Keith Johnson. Yeah, drug deals like right in between my fence and the place. Uh, people buying heroin, crack, whatever. That's what the city of Covington says police were able to buy undercover here. And they found evidence of prostitution. The last straw after constant calls for service. It's really unfair to other citizens that we have to spend uh, an inordinate amount of public safety services on a single piece of property. Last fall, an agreement between the Colonial Inn's owner and the city. One year to sell, the city got right of first refusal on the buyer, and the building can't be a motel again. I think uh, vacant with uh, 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 no illegal activity is better than uh, occupied with illegal activity. The motel now closed, its business license revoked, is still for sale. It's honestly good to see somebody did something about it. Its owner and his attorney didn't return calls for comment Monday. Neighbors encouraged by the closure, but waiting for a positive change. Just anything what it is now. I mean, that thing is just, I'm pretty sure they should have shut that thing down like years ago. And this wasn't the first time that this property's caught the city's attention. A 2005 study of development here on Madison Avenue said the city should buy it immediately and tear it down. The estimated cost back then was $130,000. We're live in Covington tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.